On the school watch, Crater High School Band and Color Guard is making changes to their equipment and uniforms. It's currently being held together with duct tape. Newswatch 12's Damian Alvarado has been following Crater High School's journey this summer as they've been fundraising all summer. Damian, you were at the school today. What were students telling you about the uniforms they've been wearing for years? You know that they're old, they're falling apart, but a lot of what they're doing right now and what they've done the past this whole summer is fundraise. And a lot of credit is has to be given to those students because any other student, any other kid might be enjoying their summer, but they were out here day and night at Crater High School. They were hosting local car washes, anything they can to help provide the money for those new uniforms. I will want to say that that's all coming up next in this package, but first, it seemed like a resounding uh, a message that not only do they want to look good at competitions, but they want to help build this program. Crater High School Band and Color Guard has a vision to be great. And that's what we're about, creating more opportunities for success. In order to achieve the goal, some changes have to happen. While we were headed over here, uh, we actually had the uniform fall apart right here. The first thing is getting some new uniforms and equipment. Oh goodness. Um, They're run down. <laughs> yeah, the best word I can, I can find is like ratty and frayed, very old. The current uniforms are decades old and students are saying. Uh, lackluster to say the least, they were, they were old, they were fraying. So although this is the current state of the uniform and equipment behind me, that's all about a change as these kids have participated in multiple fundraisers throughout the summer. Um, everywhere from the superintendent all the way down to my assistant directors and parents. They've, we've all had a, a team effort to come up with those. The school has raised $12,000 and these mock-ups may be seen this fall. With so much more work to do reaching their $100,000 goal, these students aren't finished yet. Like seeing our hard work just culminate to a goal that we've been working on for like almost half a year now is just amazing. I don't even have words for how grateful we are because like We've put in so much work and now it's finally paying off. Grateful indeed. The students that I spoke to with today said that this isn't the end. They still are trying to raise $100,000 for the equipment, such as a trailer or new band equipment. And that all will go a long way with helping them stand out at competitions this fall and for the foreseeable future. Reporting live in Central Point, Damon Alvarado, Newswatch 12.